Hi everybody, how's it going? Welcome back to Simon the Sorcerer. Uh, we've been looking through Sordid's Tower. We've got most of the things that we need, I think, to be able to do this um, spell, or we're working on it at least. Um, we need to find out the demons' names. Now, uh, some of you guys have been leaving comments. Amazing Purple Girl mentioned that the, uh, the Magic Mirror here actually mentioned how it works in two episodes ago from this one. I don't know if it says it if you come back to it, so I went back and watched that video, uh, and it basically says that it can see from any reflective surface anywhere in the world. You just have to say where to go or, so or something like that. So, do you require my services now? Maybe. Um, no. There's nothing I want from a talking mirror. So, the only reflective thing really is this shield, right? Because Simon said it was... It's an extremely shiny shield. Yeah, okay, it's an extremely shiny shield. So we know we have to hang this shield up on this hook up here, because we did that last time. So I wonder if then it's just a case of using this on here and going back down and telling the mirror to use that surface, I guess? I don't know, let's see. It would make sense. Do you require my services now? Maybe. Yeah, we do. Show me the lab on the top floor, there's a good chap. Show me the lab on the top floor, there's a good chap. What's the point? It's only just up the stairs. I want to spy on Gerald and Max. You're not here to ask questions? Get on with it. I have a fear of spiral staircases. I want to spy on Gerald and Max. Could you imagine if that was actually their names? I want to spy on Gerald and Max. I can't imagine they'd be worth spying on, but okay. Here goes. Wait, is that their actual names? Why are you, like, so nervous in front of strangers, Belch Grabbit? <laughs> Wouldn't you be with a name like Belch Grabbit? Belch Grabbit, nice name. It's not much better than Snog Fundle, really. <laughs> okay. Suppose not. Belch Grabbit and Snog Fundle. I've seen enough. <laughs> I mean, it's, Thanks it's... for your help, Mr. Mirror. Okay. So, what do we do now? Just use those names. I, I think we've... Did we do the spell in the last one? I actually can't really remember. I think we might have done... Yeah, yeah, we set this up with the candles and the drawings and stuff, didn't we? So... Hello again. Hello again. Got it sorted then. I think so. Um, yeah. Okay, we're all set. Let's rock. I'm impressed. Very impressed. This might just work. Work. Yeah. yeah. Hey, kiddo. Now I'll tell you how to operate the light. Teleport. Just push the red button marked self-destruct and tell the machine where you want to go. It's a one-way trip, though. You can't, like, get back without okay. the password. Password. Yeah. It's the password, yeah. And we yeah. don't, like, know it. Oh, maybe they don't know it. Maybe it is, yeah. Hey, look at that. That was pretty cool. Right, so we have to press the red self-destruct Take it button. away, Sonny. Okay, here goes. I hope we weren't meant to remember the names, because I do not remember them. Zabag. Zinza. Zenog. Yarmak. Zog. Onya. Looks like we're stuck. Oh. Sorry about that. Are they actually stuck? Oh no, they're gone. We didn't need to know their names. We didn't even say them. Wow, that really tingled. I uh, hope it worked okay. Did, did we kill them? Did it work? I mean, we didn't say their names, so... You know, whatever. Have we got any new hotspots? We have not. Can, can we take this with us? I feel like we might, might as well. Yeah, we can. Okay, so... I guess we use this now? Uh, oh no, okay, it just does it itself. What is that? It's like an eye or something. Oh no, it's the button, okay. This is Sparky the Talking Teleport at your service. <laughs> it would be my pleasure to whisk you safely and conveniently to the destination of your choice. Okay, um, Fiery Pits of Rondor. I've forgotten where I want to go. I guess Rondor. Fiery Pits of Rondor, please. Your selected destination is the Fiery Pits of Rondor. 
Please fasten seat belts and extinguish smoking materials. Where's the seat belt? <laughs> Got zapped big time. Oh my god. Not what I expected of Rondor. We've got a bell here. Uh, it's just F10 it. Oh god, we've got a pebble. Right, give me that pebble. There was something over here as well. So now we've got a stone and a pebble. There's a sapling. Let's look at it before we pick it up. It's a small forked sapling. Okay, let's take that. Is that one of those... Yeah, like, oh, I can't remember the word. You know, you use it to, like, search for water. Why can't I think of the word? There's a bell here. There is an attendant at this souvenir shop. Get your Rondor souvenirs. It looks like maybe we can go that way as well. Not sure about the bell. Let's, let's, uh, let's talk to this guy. He looks bored. He does look bored. You're right, mate. Not many customers, I imagine. Do you do special rates for Mighty Wizards? I had no idea this place was a tourist attraction. I had no idea this place was a tourist attraction. Three years ago it wasn't. That's King Gerald for you. Have some brochures. Okay. Thank you. Some brochures, lovely. Visit the fiery pits of Rondor. An ideal family day out. Really? See the fires of hell in full effect. And remember, free sunblock for everyone. Yay. Sounds really neat. So, why is there no one here? That's just it, isn't it? The place is at least 150 miles from the nearest village. And the only way to get here is on foot or by magic. We've only had two visitors in the last three years. <laughs> and one was a wizard. Sordid. Yeah, yeah, that's it. The other was this little green fella. Okay, little green fella. Now, are you going to pay up or not? Little green fellow, not surely not the swamp creature. He's green, right? And he's little. And he did head off out of his little cave. You have to let me in. The fate of the world depends on it. Please, 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 please let me in. Please, 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 please let me in. No. Um. Fine. When the world ends, on your head be it. Fine. When the world ends, on your head be it. Alright, um, so we need to find a way to get in there. What, what does this bell do? A fire alarm bell with a push button centre. Ah, a fire alarm. Okay, um, how do we use, can we, how, how, what do we do to this? We can't seem to. That just, doesn't work. I can't reach it. Oh, we can't reach it. Can we use our spear? That doesn't work. No. Okay, we can't reach it. Really? Okay, the spear doesn't work, apparently. Oh, maybe we can throw something at it? That doesn't work. No. How about the stone? That doesn't work. No. All right, can we just go through? Is he, is he going to stop us if we I just... I told you, you can't go in without paying. I don't, don't want to pay. I want to go in for free. You changed your mind about letting me in? No, I haven't. Well, we're not paying, sir. So, um, does, can we use this thing? I don't know, just with the ground, with the bell? That doesn't work. No, okay. We've got a book, we've got a pouch, we've got the chemicals. We've still got the chemicals to make things shiny. We've got the shield brochures can we have a look at these oh look there's an elastic band around them ah slingshot okay what do you want me to use it on the bell use this the catapult on the bell okay here we go fire i'm out of here Gone. Good. Wait, what's that? Souvenir matches. That is very loud. Alright, let's go. Let's, let's, let's go while he's... Oh god, that was very annoying. 
All right, well, maybe, maybe he comes back. Maybe that's on a timer, I don't know. What's this? Floor wax. We're suddenly getting a lot of items. This bridge doesn't look entirely safe. It's a bucket of floor wax. Yeah, all right, let's grab that. Why not? This is the fiery pits this way. Let's have a look at this. It's a bucket of floor wax. Let's have a look at these matches. It's a book of souvenir matches. Okay. What did we actually fire from this thing? Was it the pebble? I think it was, but the pebbles was in the inventory for quite a while. Still got the stone. Anything else here? No. All right, let's head through to the fiery pits. When I catch the person that set off the sprinkler system, I'll roast them alive. Oh my god. Now, I've got to find a way to relight this damn thing. Just when I was about to finish my new wand as well. Okay. Oh, it's sordid. I, th I thought it might be. Can we... He's trying to relight the pit. Okay. I seriously don't think that will be a good idea. Okay, can we relight the pit? Do you want that these matches? That doesn't work. Do you want these matches to relight the That's pit? That's just plain silly. <laughs> that right. one should have worked. Can we... Can we use the wax that on it? That doesn't work. Okay, what have we got? Catapult him. That doesn't work. No. Uh, oh, we've got the one. I'll try Regis can... Burns' fabulous pyro whizbang spell next. Quite ironic, wouldn't you say? Hey, <laughs> slime bucket, pasta la pizza, baby. No. What's what's going on? Oh, we turned him into a statue. That'll teach you to mess with Simon the Sorcerer. The only problem now is how to destroy the wand and save Calypso. Okay, I mean, surely it's not that easy. <laughs> it can't be. Maybe we can like... Quite a good likeness. I'm quite pleased with myself. All right, maybe we can like break him. That doesn't work. No, can we like throw the stone at him? That doesn't work. Can we use the chemicals on him to make him all shiny? That doesn't work. No, okay. Um, we can maybe move him. It looks like we can interact with the pits. I don't as see well. the point. The pits. Let's look at the pits. The fiery pits put out by the sprinkler system. Okay, can we re. Sorted and all his magic couldn't get this thing working? And you expect me to be able to do it with a book of matches? Okay. <laughs> yeah, fine. I mean, matches. Look at that. It's lava. A pool of bubbling lava. Okay, now why do we want to do that? A pool of bubbling lava. Is it like Lord of the Rings? Like we've got to toss the magic wand in? Here goes. Now all the statues return to normal. Oh yeah, okay, it is. Yeah, we just got to destroy the wand. I can't believe it was that easy to beat Sordid though. I'll be made a hero for sure. Not Push only have I rid the world of Sordid. But I've saved all the good guys as well. At least I'm out of danger now. Oh, we're not out of danger, are we? I just had a thought. <laughs> yeah, he's going to come back now because <laughs> we destroyed the wand. Uh oh. Oh no. Well, 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 little wizard. You've made me really angry now. Uh, I'm really sorry. Can we call it quits? I'm really sorry. Can we call it quits? I'm not interested in your pathetic whinging, little wizard. This time, I intend to make sure you die properly okay. and with great suffering. No, thank you. I guess it's goodbye then. You almost finished the game as well. Oh, Say no. your prayers, <laughs> almost finished the game. wizard. Okay. Oh. What's that, a telephone? Hello, Sordid speaking. Who? What is going on? Hang on a minute. It's some life insurance people. They want to speak to you. <laughs> life insurance people. Hello? Is that Simon the Sorcerer? Correct. Speaking. This is Calypso here. You did a great job oh. with the one. We've all turned back to normal. Calypso. I'm coming to rescue you. Try and stall him for a bit. Okay. 
Uh, okay. Stool. See you in a bit. Bye. All right, so we've got. He's <laughs> very jolly, isn't he? We've got stool in. What did I want? Uh, I think it was just a wrong number. Just tell me my life policy is cancelled. No, your business. I was just taking you out of my will. I was just taking you out of my will. Okay, then. Get ready for pain such as you've never imagined. Hang on a minute. What is it now? Why can't you just shut up and die? <laughs> Uh, have you heard the one about the vicar and the mongoose? I have this strange desire to stay alive. I have to stall you until the rescue posse come along. <laughs> Can I have a last request? Can I have a last request? Uh, let me think about it for a moment. Uh, no! Ha 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 ha! Ho 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 ho! <laughs> it's time for you to die! Come on, Calypso, where are you? What do we do here? Ah. Oh, that'll teach that little squirt to mess with me. What, what happened there? Oh. Ah! Okay. Oh. <laughs> well, what do you know? Hundreds of razor sharp spikes, and I miss everyone. I wonder what happened to the bridge. Oh yeah, it's like collapsed. All right then, well, um, I'll tell you what, we are out of time, so I guess we will wait for Calypso to show up and then maybe fight against Sordid or something. Um, it said that we were near the end of the game, so maybe the next one will be the last one, I don't know. But that does it for this one, so as always, thank you very much for watching. A big thank you to my patrons, Arcades Games, Wayne, Nate, Tony Nerdy, Paul from the Phantom Fellows, Lyle, Barry Aldridge, Hobo, Numinous, Coomadim, Paul Leone, Flossy the Sheep, Joncon555, Chrissy, and Paul James, and I'll see you next time. <laughs>